What is up you guys? Topic of today, Cashmere and Tiger Lily rip off this unknown artist. Supposedly according to your EDM. Now guys, I'm gonna be showing you the two tracks side by side and hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this from fucking spinning records. But pretty much I'm gonna have my girlfriend right next to me and she's gonna give us her opinion. Now don't worry guys, she's oblivious to the producer world because she's so ignorant. All she cares, she cares, she, all she cares about is fashion fuck, and to, she doesn't know anything about the producing world, so this is her reaction to it She's gonna let us know whether she thinks it's ripped off or not. All right guys, so here I have my girlfriend my my beautiful, you know, hey, hey Okay, so I'm gonna be showing her the first song and then a the second song You know and she's gonna give me her opinion on whether she thinks one song ripped the, the other song off Okay, so I'm gonna show her the first one. This is the first one that came out Okay, so this is like the first one first one so here closely and then we're gonna hear the next one. Okay, all right Okay, so remember that. Now here's the second one, okay? Okay, so those are both songs. The first one came out first and the second one came out they afterwards. They sound similar. They sound very similar. Yeah. Okay, so would you consider the second song is ripping the first song off? Yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Definitely. yeah. So if you were the artist, what would you do? Would you sue or? Like what the hell? You know what the mean? fuck? Oh, okay. <laughs> so you guys heard it. She doesn't produce. She usually asks what the fuck I do in this room the whole day, and I'm like, oh, I'm just you know I talk to my friends and teach them how to make music. So she doesn't know. She thinks this is for you guys, like 20 people. Anyways guys, let's continue. Alright guys, and now I have my dogs. They're gonna let us know if they think it's the same. Um, let's do it. So as you guys saw, she's into fashion. She doesn't know anything about the producing world. So, what you guys need to know first off is that the drops only sound similar because they both got inspired by that big song that happened to be in Psytrance by Vinnie Dici. I forgot the name of it, but it's a remix. And pretty much they're the ones who started this whole Psytrance trend with the Indian vocals on top. So I believe the unknown producer got inspired by that, so he decided to buy an Indian vocal loops pack. I think Kashmir heard it too, and he wanted to make something similar, so he bought the same vocal loops pack. Now what you guys need to understand is that the vocal loops pack is made by Loop Masters, which is a sample pack company. What this means is that they sell samples to everybody. And just the fact that you bought a sample pack from them doesn't mean you have pretty much exclusive rights to it. Yes, you do have the rights to release tracks with their stuff in it, but the thing you need to keep in mind is that anyone can go in there and get that vocal loop if they think it's awesome and use it in their own tracks. So what happened here is pretty much they both use the same sample in their tracks. Now, that's why I think vocal loops from sample packs are pretty bad just because, let's say I know that's that vocal loop from this song is in a sample pack, I can unofficially remix it and the artist might not want that or I can officially rip the artist off and copy almost <laughs> the same chords he used and try and make my own version of it. Now that's where it goes bad but again it's also good because we get provided vocal loops that we wouldn't have access to because we don't know any musicians and come on let's face it guys producers are very 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 lonely people. So my take on it guys is that there is no rip off going on it's just pretty much using samples at a more higher level. Cashmere is obviously up there in the top 100 DJ so the fact that people saw the, the vocals and they don't know anything about it. That's why they're saying that Cashmere ripped it off. I don't think he did. I think his track sounds way more professional and way more time put into it. <coughs> but that's my take on it, guys. What's your take on it? Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to use sample pack um, vocal loops now that you guys have seen any of this? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out the new Marcelo Chic Sound Bank.